you're a business owner and you're looking to sell your business, the first thing I would say is that you need to get your house in order if it's not there already. So first thing I would do would be make sure my accounts are up to date, make sure the business is presented in the best possible way. You know, typically you'll pay your accountant to reduce your taxes um, by reducing the profits. Actually, you almost want to think in reverse. You want to maximize the profits because most businesses are sold for a multiple of their profits. So the higher that profit number, the more you're likely to receive for your business. So it needs to be sustainable and you know, anyone can make a set of accounts look good or bad. You want to make sure that it's a realistic view of the business, but there will be things in there that you could build to maximize um, that value. Uh, the next thing I would do would be to succession plan. So who's gonna run the business when you're not there? Is that person already in place? If not, you need to recruit them because otherwise you're gonna end up in some sort of lengthy earn out structure. So um, you wanna make sure that whoever's gonna be running the business can demonstrate to a buyer that they can run it whether you're there or not. Um, so get your house in order, get the accounts up to date, get, get the succession planning, and then build a bit of a marketing plan. So who will buy my business? Could be the staff, could be a customer, could be someone in the supply chain, could be a competitor, and could be private equity, could be investor, lots of different routes, but write a re really long list of potential people um, that might be interested in buying the business, and then you need to market to those people. So either you can do that directly, or if you're worried about confidentiality and people finding out that the business might be for sale, then you could pay a corporate advisor to go and talk to potential buyers in a confidential way and get non-disclosures in place so that you know that, that confidentiality is, is protected. Um, once you've done all of that, it's then about looking at what's the best option for the business. So there are some buyers out there that typically will pay more than other types of buyers and um, uh, it's really important that you want to uh, you know find the right buyer for the business so it's not necessarily just the financial component that might well be important to a business owner um, but what can be more important is actually what's going to happen once you've sold the business you know if you live in your local town and you're selling your local business and you still might bump into the staff in the local supermarket or see customers out at social events or whatever you want to be able to I guess still be able to speak to those people um, and, and be confident that whoever is going to be the custodian and new owner of the business is actually going to build upon it and not destroy that legacy. So one of the things from Opulentia's point of view is we want to make sure that we build upon a business owner's um, legacy. So we don't want to change the name. Why would we? The business is long established. People know it for whatever it's called. And we certainly don't want to change that. We want to empower the people. We want to give them the tools, the resources, and most importantly, the capital so that they can grow and expand within the company, whether that be climbing the career ladder with bigger and better career opportunities, whether it be better professional development opportunities so that they can become more effective or perform better in, in their role, whatever that might, might look like. Um, and we want to create a larger group of companies by rolling up in a particular sector and unlocking value whether that be cross-selling economies of scale buying power so these are all of the things that from our point of view are very important and we know of, from talking to business owners that we've bought businesses from or we've had negotiations with we understand that they're very very important and they're as equally important to us